out poking around trying to find an adit. Oh, no way! Check if I found something interesting, apparently. Wow, it's an old Vaseline dryer, or, or uh, um, it's intact though, which is unusual. Mentholatum. Wow. Yeah. I wonder how old that is. Mental, mental latum trade. Huh. Uh, I'd say from the 20s, 30s. Look at these hinges, dude. Yeah. But see, here's the stripping for the fucking rails. Yeah, she said the GPS lady said we were close. I wonder if this was. It looks like there's something right there. See the. Yeah, it looks like a fucking. Grounds hauled out. It looks like, you know what it looks like? It looks like a fucking strip thing. Yeah, I wouldn't walk across it. <laughs> this is the area we're poking around in. It's pretty rugged. Like I said, we're looking for a, an adit that's supposed to be over here. Hopefully we find it. You're very uh, creative, Mr. McBride. Is that right? You're very creative. A period, S period, Heinz. A S Heinz? Yeah, company. Made in the USA. Mm -hmm. And it's H.5009.3. Huh. Is the. That's it, but I, I'm. I'm glad I picked that up. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I think it's an I think it's an aspirin bottle. Huh. This pipe here's got a fair amount of water coming out. It's just coming straight out of that notch right there. So there may have been a tunnel there, uh, which is being drained. But there was this caved in. Fair amount of stuff back here, and. Uh, they did a lot of hydraulic work too, all back in there. It's sort of covered by the trees, but you can get a sense of it. And then this, it sure looks like there might have been something there too. I don't know. Here's another view of that area. You can see how this has all been worked over. Pipe over there. These ravines carved out from the uh, hydraulic mining. Lots of bits of glass and metal and things like that around. There's another ravine over here carved out by the hydraulic mining activity. It's a pretty uh, pretty serious one. According to our GPS friend, this may have been a mine where I'm walking right now. In other words, where I am right now is basically the portal. If the GPS is correct, I put that if out there. Because um, it looks like this, where I'm standing now, is caved in. And this here goes back a ways. Um, I mean, it's caved in farther back, but it, it goes farther back than you might expect. 
So the GPS is correct. There's no corresponding ravine up there. Uh, so if the GPS is correct, this may be something, but that's a big may. You have a better view of some of the hydraulic workings over here. Obviously this stuff was washed down from above. And then uh, over here you can see more of the work. I'm up above that area that was hydraulic that I showed you down below and you can see the size of the ditch that was up here. I actually got down in it so you can get a sense of how big it was. So I'm standing in the bottom of it and as you can see the sides are over my head. So this is a good sized ditch. And right here along the ditch, you can see the remains of the gate that used to be here. Those bits of uh, wood right there are what's left of the gate. And you can see it came out here and flowed down to those hydraulic workings down below. Also some timber, or uh, excuse me, some boards against this tree here. I have no idea why. Following that ditch line now and uh, put here some more hydraulic workings up here. Yeah. Oh yeah, this area was all carved out pretty extensively. Wow. There's some deer or something moving down there too. I'm farther to the east now, and you can see there's another smaller ditch line in front of me. Not sure what that divot out of the cliff is. And the ditch line runs south like that. And over here is a big piece of equipment. I'm not sure what that is. Huh. Well, there you have it. I'd be curious to know the story as to how that got out here. Here's a view of some additional hydraulic diggings I'm dropping down into. You can see the Big piles of rocks down there. And then of course all through here. So this is a bottle, an awesome bottle of beer that Chuck found up. <laughs> <laughs> found up by the clipper ship. That is awesome. It says Dude, you never see beer bottles. It says Buffalo Brewing Company. Focus focus camera. Buffalo Brewing Company, Sacramento, California. I said I live next to, pretty close to Sacramento. I don't remember hearing about no Buffalo Brewing Company. Yeah, I can't wait to get back so I can Google that. Really cool, man. That's a great find. Now look it's, at the, the seam. It's totally if, intact, too. If you look at the seam, the seam stops before the top of the bottle. Before the, the um, 
the lip. You're right. Man, that's just completely intact. It's old. That is amazing. Well done. Just by luck, man. Yeah, well fucking done. Well, that's how we find this stuff.